Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who's going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the Northwestern Wildcats and the Florida Atlantic Owls. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Owls are clearly outmatched on paper in this one, Dick. What's the key to pulling off a victory for them? Here are a couple keys, Brad. First of all, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. Second of all, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. Lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Way off target. He draws a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. He'll regroup the offense. Inside, the power forward receives the pass. That'll take some pride on the defensive end. He drains the shot. Replay of the night, baby. Both teams looking to get things going here. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. That's just great hustle and great defense with the steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Has a nice look at the basket. He fires it up. He makes the shot. Inside. Walls handles the pass. He strips him clean. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. And he'll kick it back outside. Walsh is feeling great out there right now. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. He's and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He hits it. For the bucket. That was nice. Wow, let's check out the replay. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. There they come with a double team to stop it. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He blocks the shot. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. He shoots from long range. Fed the low block. He gets the rejection. They work the perimeter. Trying to pack it inside. Goes up for two. Couldn't put it in off the screen inside. Tough luck. They let him out of a double team there. That's not the way you utilize the double. There's the trap. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. He keeps the dribble as they reset. There he is. Strips the ball loose. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. He shoots from the baseline. The Owls have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Walsh handles the feed. 
Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. And they get the turnover. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Working it around the perimeter. On the outside. Downey receives the ball. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. That's a 7 nothing run. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Off the rim and no good. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Length of the floor. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Start things up again. Both teams looking to get things going here. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Way off target. Buried it. That's a 13 zip run. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He nails the shot. It. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The Owls go to the line for the first time in this game. First one is good. Gets the second. It's the third. We're going to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He's got some room. Gave it up. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting critic, my friend. <laughs> Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate.
Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. Dante tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. That spin move not successful, Dick. I think great and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of play. From beyond the arc. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. There's a bad pass right to the defender. There's the fake. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Florida Atlantic have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. In the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaches told us their only worry was their team getting down too early. Now that this team has, the players are trying very hard not to panic and put it all together. All right, thanks, Aaron. Time to, that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. He's going nowhere. Ball well, stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Here's a flash from the high post. He attempts the trifecta. He shows the sweet touch. On the dribble, gives it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. With a bucket, he gets it to fall. He went by him with ease, Dick. I think I saw him look back after he blew by him. Both teams looking to get things going here. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two, can't get the shot to go. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Northwestern are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. a hand in the way. Moving it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. 
Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Opportunity here. Tries for two. They're working around the perimeter. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He shoots from right of the circle. Way off target. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. The Wildcats are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He misses his first shot. It's his second. He hits his third. There's a double team waiting there. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. From right in the circle, that's good. This is worth the second look. Pass is picked off. For the bucket. Got it. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. And the ball goes out of bounds. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. And off the mark. Intercepted. Look at that spacing. On the outside. Number 20 is whistled for the foul. Third team foul. High post flashes. He shoots from downtown. Goes in.
Gave it up. Set that screen away. Scorches the net. We get another look. Two, Florida Atlantic. They have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. <laughs> on the outside. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player to attack the basket. Stolen away. It's a fast break possibility. Trying to draw the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> up and inside. Goes up for two. It's good. Some room. Number 20 is called for the foul. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I am. Free throw is good. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Defense! 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 On the dribble, gives it up. High post screen. Defense! He shoots from the top of the key. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. a timeout. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Entry pass in the paint for the bucket. They still don't score. And a momentary look from three-point land. He knocks down another bucket. This kid's got skills, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Gave it up. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They say forget about it. Then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Rob 
problem with that when you front. If you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Shot clock is dead. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. There's a high screen from way outside. Gets it to fall. He puts it up there. Can't put it down. At halftime, the Owls lead by 17. It was an interesting first half, Dick. Do you have a replay of the half in mind? Well, the trifecta like we see here was and will be a part of the story of this game. We'll have to keep an eye on which team gets it going from out there in the second half. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Florida Atlantic shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution paid a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Here's the three ball. Ain't no stopping them right now from the Arctic. You better believe it, baby. They're making them pay from out there. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good look. Moving it around the perimeter. The center takes the pass. Here's a double team from three-point range. the three ball he sinks another basket what are they gonna do with this guy Dick? I don't know Brad but they better do it quickly picks off the lazy pass looking for a good shot now he faces up on the low block I think it's great when you got a close player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Working it around the perimeter. Foul charge. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. That was awesome, baby! He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was it's good. He took a mid-air whacking, but he got the layup to fall. Hey, Brad, he deserves a free one for that play. He goes to the line. He sinks it. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Look at that spacing. 
Takes the pass in the paint. Two with a lay-in. Look the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Up. Easy one. Ball movement, get that good spacing. He unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. On the inside. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the top of the circle. Can't get it to go. They work the perimeter. Number 20 is charged with the foul. Second team foul. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. Go to the line. Hits the first. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Gets the second. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That's an eight-zip one. He shoots from the top of the key. He can't get the hoop to fall. Easy one. Work it around the arc. I think they're trying to make a statement. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Gets the first shot. Both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBA. Goes for the deep one. Number 20 is really turning some heads right now. He's on fire. Yeah, he's on fire. Up fake. Tries to get the D to bite. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Now the turnaround jumper. In and out. The point guard with the ball. Kicks it out. Got a wide open look. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Great play to take that to the basket. Defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The center takes the feed. There's the trap. Stop and pop. He gets it to fall. 
The Owls lead by 26. Up and inside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Stolen away. Oh, what a great job transition offense. Poor job defensively. They don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. He takes the shot. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Picked off. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He looks for three. He buries the shot. That's seven on answer. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Moving it around the perimeter. He goes for three. Gets it to fall. The Owls are up by 24. Five-second call approaching. Steals the pass. The small forward gets the pass. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Drains it. That's a seven-zip run. <laughs> On the outside. Leans in. Makes the shot. Tries for two. Up. Easy one. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. They move it into the front court. He takes the three. He nails the bucket. Can their defense get him back in the game, Dick? I'll tell you, it's going to be a long hike back, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Intercepted. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. He makes a nice shot fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Top of the circle. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brian? If only my knees weren't aching. On the dribble, gives it up. 
That's been moves not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Steals a pass. The center gets the ball. Ooh, look at the shot block. They've got some contact. Nice hops. The ball goes out of play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, two sets of emotions on the sideline so far. One team is saying keep attacking, keep up the pace, while the other team, well, they're just looking for an answer. Can they find it, guys, before it's too late? Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Momentary look from three-point land. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Up and inside. In the paint. Tries for two. He drains it. The Owls are ahead by 28. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. is a three. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Hey, don't let these guys get in too much of a rhythm. Can they regroup in time, you think? Let's see what happens. Went away from the post and goes the other way. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. And now they'll bring it up. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Wow. Can we get slow-mo, please? Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. Got his shot block. There's a double team waiting there. He throws it up from downtown. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. the man in the high post if he can get it there on the inside. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Good job defensively. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Gave it up. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Step out on that screener. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. Well, it's simple. They came out, executed a game plan, and ended up on top. I 
outside jumper. Makes it. Great defense. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. And working around the perimeter. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Gave it up. Fakes the shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He tries a jump hook. Rims out. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. The ball goes out of bounds. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Hard foul. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He shoots way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. High post flasher is open. Defense giving some room. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Pump fakes. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Shot clock is dead. Working it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Defense taking away any open looks. Looking for a good shot. The 
Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. The Owls is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.